Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. The revision PDF are uploaded on this Telegram channel. We have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. NASCOM has partnered with the artificial intelligence mission of which state to launch an innovation factory. So this state is Telangana. And for this purpose, NASCOM has partnered with TAIM. What is TAIM? It is Telangana Artificial Intelligence Mission. Now, NASCOM is a non-profit organization. It was established in 1988. It is a non-profit organization. The headquarters of NASCOM is in New Delhi. And at present, UB Praveen Rao is the chairperson of NASCOM. Next question is, which country's mass digger probe named Mole was declared dead recently? So, it was a probe related to NASA. NASA is the space agency of USA. So, this mass digger probe was deployed on Mars by InSight lander of NASA. So, the name of lander was InSight and the name of this digger probe was Mole. Recently, it was in use because it failed. However, please note that this InSight lander will continue to function. Recently, US was in use as US President Mr. Trump became the first president in the history of USA to be impeached twice. USA was also in news as upcoming president Joe Biden announced a relief package of 1.9 trillion. Next question is Node Stream to Pipeline, which was in news recently, passes through with sea. So it passes through Baltic Sea. So this is going to connect Russia with Germany. So first important point is that it is a natural gas pipeline. Second important point is that it is going to connect Russia with Germany. And third point is that it is passing through Baltic Sea. Next question is ICE Stupa, Swasthya Portal and Priyas Dashboard are the initiatives of which union ministry? So these are the initiatives of MOTA that is Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Recently, this Tribal Affairs Ministry won Scotch Award for e-governance and that is why these initiatives were in use. This ICE Stupa initiative was started to solve the water problem in Ladakh region. The Swastha portal is a portal for the health and nutritional status of tribal population of our country and Priyas is a dashboard for prompt communication. Next question is which country has permitted Dubai Royals to hunt Hobara Bustard? So this country is Pakistan. So what is this entire issue? See, the hunting of this Obara Bustard is banned in Pakistan. However, Pakistan allow the hunting when these Dubai Royals visit Pakistan. So why they want to hunt it? A. They want to hunt it as a sport. B. They want to consume its meat as it is considered as aphrodisic. So that's why this issue was in use because even though this bird is not allowed to hunt, these Dubai Royals were given permission to hunt it. Now why Pakistan is giving them permission? Because Pakistan is using it as a soft diplomacy. That means Pakistan just want to please these Dubai Royals. Why so? Because Pakistan has taken a huge amount of money as loan from these countries. Next question is, what is MINUSMA which was in news recently? So it is United Nations Peacekeeping Mission in Mali. The exact full form is Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali. So it is a peacekeeping mission of United Nations in Mali. Recently it was in news because the convoy of peacekeepers was attacked by IED. So what is the full form of IED? It is improvised explosive device. Now Mali is a country in West Africa. So it is a West African country. It is a landlocked country. Third point is that the capital of Mali is Bamako. Next question is, as of January 2021, what is India's revised target for achieving 20% ethanol blending with gasoline? So previously, this target was 2030. Now it has been revised. So now new target is 2025. That means by 2025, we are going to ensure 20% blending of ethanol in gasoline. See, one of the most important aspect of Indian economy is that our dependency on imported crude oil and that is why it has a negative impact on our inflation and on our
current account deficit. So to reduce this dependency, government is promoting the blending of ethanol. So if we are going to blend ethanol, we will have to import less oil. So this will help in our current account deficit as well. So by 2022, target is 10%. By 2025, target is 20%. So 20% ethanol and 80% gasoline. Here 10% ethanol and 90% gasoline. Next question is, which company has manufactured India's first driverless metro cars? So this company is BEML. It is a defense PSU. Recently, this India's first driverless metro car was in news because the facility was unveiled by Union Defense Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh. Recently, this BEML company has received orders for these cars from MMRDA, that is Mumbai Metro Region Development Authority. The previous name of this BEML is Bharat Earth Movers Limited. It is a defense PSU headquarters is in Karnataka in Bengaluru. Next question is, which country has imposed sanctions against Iran, China and UAE for doing business with Islamic Republic of Iran shipping lines? So this country is USA. Actually few months ago, USA left JCPOA. This is Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So informally it is known as Iran nuclear deal. Now after the exit of USA from this deal, USA started imposing sanctions on Iran and it also started warning those countries who were doing business with Iran. So now, keeping that aspect in mind, it has imposed sanctions on several countries who were involved in the business with Iran. USA was also in news as recently it imposed sanctions on Turkey for purchasing S-400 missile defense system from Russia. And these sanctions were imposed under KATSA, that is countering American adversaries through sanctions act. Please note that even India is going to buy this S-400 missile defense system from Russia. Next question is, what amount of funds has been sucked out of the financial system by RBI through its recent reverse repo operations? So it is 2 trillion. So using this reverse repo operations, RBI sucked this much money out of the financial system. Now in this context, a few important terms are there. First is fiscal policy versus monetary policy. Second is expansionary versus contractionary. Please read about these terms. RBI is our central bank. Headquarters of RBI is in Mumbai. Previously, it was in Kolkata. Present RBI governor is Shaktikant Das. Recently, RBI was in news as it started its banknote processing center in Jaipur. Jaipur is in Rajasthan. Recently, Rajasthan started Indra Rasoi Yojana to provide subsidized food. So these were the most important questions. Now, we are going to cover important news events. So first is Kevadia. So the Statue of Unity is situated near Kevadia in Narmada district of Gujarat. Why it was in news recently? Because Prime Minister flagged off eight trains connecting different parts of our country to Kevadia so that people can visit this Statue of Unity. Statue of Unity is a statue of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Now this Kevadia station is first railway station of India to receive green building certification. Next is Najhat Samim Khan. So recently, the ambassador of Fiji, Najat Samim Khan, has been elected as the president of United Nations Human Rights Council. The headquarters is in Geneva. Geneva is in Switzerland. Next is Juri Ratas. So recently, Juri Ratas was in news as Juri Ratas resigned from the post of Prime Minister of Estonia. Next is Agni Sama Seva. So this is the name of initiative by Odisha government to issue the fire safety certificates online. Please note that Odisha was also in news as recently India's first fire park was started in Odisha. Next is Pradhan Mantri Koshal Vikas Yojana 3.0. So recently the third phase of this skill development program was launched. Name of scheme is Pradhan Mantri Koshal Vikas Yojana. It is a scheme by MSDE that is Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. This was launched in 2015 and the implementing authority is NSDC, that is National Skill Development Corporation. Next is Fitbit. So it is a US based company which make health related products. So it make smart wearable accessories for health. Recently it was in news because Google has completed the process of 
acquisition of this company google acquired fitbit in 2.1 billion dollars next is bharat ka amrut mahotsav so to celebrate 75th years of india's independence we are going to organize this bharat ka amrut mahotsav initiative next is major strategic partners so recently usa named uae and bahrain as major strategic partners next is open sky treaty so the treaty was in use because first usa left the treaty now russia announced that it is going to leave this treaty the treaty was signed in 1992 and it came in effect in 2002 next is inji so inji was the world's oldest known orangutan c died away recently in usa and c was sumatran orangutan next is sulawesi island so this is in indonesia and the name of cave is liang tedongge cave so these caves were in use because recently world's oldest known cave art was found in these caves and these caves are on sulawesi island and this island is in indonesia so in these caves a life size picture of wild pig was found so few important points first is world's oldest known cave art was found in indonesia in indonesia it is in Sulawesi Island in Sulawesi Island it is found in this Liang cave next is unscripted so this is the name of book and authors are Vidhu Vinod Chopra and Abhijit Joshi and next initiative is Prarambh so this was launched to celebrate startup india initiative and for this initiative bimstech was a partner bimstech stands for bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation so this was organized by commerce ministry and this summit was organized to celebrate the 5th anniversary of startup india initiative this was launched in 2016 so startup is an initiative of commerce ministry on the other hand this stand up india is an initiative by dfs that is department of financial services it is under finance ministry now during this prarambh initiative a startup india seed fund worth 1000 crore rupees was announced so it is going to provide support to those startups which are going to provide innovative ideas now test first question is which listed large company won the icsi national award for excellence in corporate governance second question is 20 crore project to build work stations digital platform for work from home jobs featured in the budget of which indian state third question is which organization is going to provide data to the government for identifying targeted beneficiaries for covid-19 vaccination fourth question is indian institute of spices research is headquartered in which state of india fifth is jelly katu is a sport event related to which state sixth question is what is the name of startup india international summit which was organized by dpiit seventh is pm kvy that is pm koshal vikas yojana is implemented under which ministry next question is boja jana konda term was in news what does it mean and ninth question is what is the name of traditional kite flying festival celebrated in bangladesh so these were the most important questions the answers of these questions will be discussed if at least 500 students are going to comment their score in comment box thank you and that's all for the day